Hey there guys, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial based on Liza Soberano's makeup look in her preview magazine photo shoot. So basically I'm doing this one makeup look with two lip shades. So if you guys want to see how I did this makeup, please keep on watching. So to get that really glowy skin, I'm going to be using the Nature Republic Aloe Vera Soothing Gel and I'm going to use that to moisturize my face. Because if you want a really glowy look, the most important thing that you should do before putting on any foundation or concealer is to moisturize your face really well. And take in mind that I'm using a spatula to get the product out of the pot because that's more sanitary. The nice thing about this aloe vera soothing gel is that it's not just for your face. You could also use it on your hair and on your body and your nails. Let's have a little talk or a chit chat while I'm letting the moisturizer settle into my skin. I woke up quite early this morning because I wanted to film a lot of stuff because I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff this week and I, I'm not sure if I'll have time to film. It's really dark outside because it's foggy and stuff. It's getting a lot colder in Qatar because winter is upon us. I know that this is supposed to be her like no makeup makeup look, but since it was for a magazine cover, I'm pretty sure they put foundation on her. And you can use any glowy foundation. I have two glowy foundations with me. I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up. I have the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation and the Bourjois Healthy Mix foundation that has rubbed all off. But since I used this in my last tutorial, I think I'll use this one for now. I'll just pump some of that in onto my hand, probably like two pumps. And then I'm gonna use a beauty blender just to apply that all over my skin. <gasps> Shit, I got foundation on my couch. No. I think Li Liza, not Li Liza, Liza Soberano is really pretty. And I watched her movie with Enrique Hill. Um, what's the title of that? Uh, ev is that Every Day I Love You? I think that's the that's the title of the movie. To add a bit more of like the glowy, healthy look, I'm gonna add some highlight, and I'm just using the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette. I know this isn't highlight, but I don't have a highlighter, so I'm gonna use the the color Silk Teddy. I'm just gonna use a fan brush, highlight the tops of my cheeks, and basically like highlight almost your entire cheek. Add a bit of that onto my forehead as well, and the bridge of my nose and chin. I don't think she had a lot of contouring done, but I'm gonna just add a bit of contouring to my cheeks and my jawline because I need it. <laughs> For the brows, you could keep it really natural, but I feel like in the photo shoot, they used a clear brow gel for her. I'll add a bit, a bit of color. To make it more natural looking for my brows, I'm going to use a gray shadow instead of a brown shadow. I'm not really shaping my brows, I'm just filling in the empty, empty areas. And then I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm not applying any mascara. You have two lip options for this because she had a double cover and you could go for the natural look or the dark look. The first one that I'm using is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade London. So here is the first look with the nude lip. And then you could do a dark lip. I'm still using my MAC media lipstick, which is really hard to open because I accidentally closed the car door on it. <laughs> I'm just gonna layer that because I'm too lazy to remove the other lipstick. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Not my best lipstick application, but 
you guys get the gist. Here is the second makeup look with the dark lip. So that has been my Liza Soberano inspired makeup tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!